Today I'm going to show you how I make the creatures and enemies from my game Wrath of the Mad King. Hey what's up, Husman here and it's time for another devlog of my upcoming indie game Wrath of the Mad King. A lot has happened, I've been improving a lot on the game and the last few weeks I've been focusing a lot on creating my own assets, I've been making buildings, I've been making stuff for the city. I basically did a whole redesign of the city of Real. I thought it looked kind of cool but I wanted to give it my own flavor so I gave it a whole new update. And I think it looks really awesome now. It looks like a proper cyberpunk sci-fi city and the main city for the game. But today I don't want to focus that much on the human side of things. I want to show you how I made one of the big new sentient creatures of the game called a harvester. I made this creature in Blender, put on a screen recording and this is how it came to be.
got a creature, but still this creature can't do anything yet. There's no logic yet for the creature. And so we're gonna bring it into Unity and we're gonna make it into something that can actually be interacted with and probably kill the player. So I have a scene here, like the level where the creature will be inhabiting. It's called Caldera. It's a mountainous place where not much is happening except, of course, the big creatures roaming these lands. And one thing that's really cool with Unity, you can make some procedural animation and basically make the creature move depending on where it's at. It's quite complicated and won't bore you with this because Unity has quite a bit of tutorials on it. Basically what I did, I made the bones modular so whenever I move the creature, the bones of the creature move accordingly, which gives a really cool vibe, a really cool way that this creature is actually moving without having to make all these animations myself. Since this is such a big creature, it basically whenever it touches you, you will get a lot of damage. Next up, I dove into how can I make this creature move because I don't want it to move the same way that the smaller creatures move because it's kind of big. And actually what I did, I actually made it move following a random path. So it travels around the level because it doesn't have to worry about such a small creature as the player. Next up, I gave it some cool particle effects because the way I saw it, it had to be some kind of dust, some kind of dust roaming around when the creature was flowing past. To accentuate this effect even more, I also added a screen shake. This was quite easy to do with Cinemachine. You can basically add an impulse listener and an impulse source and add a collider to it. So whenever the player is inside this collider, the shake is gonna happen. So it's a really cool way to make the player actually be aware of that something is coming, which I thought was a really cool touch. Finally, we can add some sound to this, which is for me really fun. That's what I love to do for this game. And for this creature, basically the combination was making a lot of environment noises. So it's like roaming around so you can hear it coming. I make some really cool roars for it. And this is the sound palette that I created for this creature. <laughs> Combine all these things into one and then you get something like this. So I'm really happy with the result of this. I really like where this is going. I really like where I can implement with this. I'm gonna make it modular so you can shoot certain things off the creature and get it for loot, make it high valuable loot. So it's really difficult to beat the creature, but once you kill some certain parts of it, you can sell it for highly valuable loot. I really hope you enjoy the progress that's being made. I will make a next development log in the next month, showcasing more of a broader view of everything that's happened in the game. The game is becoming really cool if I say so myself. And there's also a new playtest coming up later. So we'll keep you posted on that. If you wanna be notified whenever I upload a new video, hit that like button and subscribe. Wanna stay in touch with everything regarding the game, head over to my Discord channel below. And then before I go, a little announcement. My new track, Quarantine, together with Sabres, is out now. We work really hard on it and really hope you enjoy it as much that we like making it. It's out now on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube. So if you like, go over there and have a listen. It will also be part of the Patreon pack this month. So so if you want some cool sounds, be sure to check that out. But that's all for me this video. I'm really hoping you're having an awesome week and I'll see you all on the next video. Take care, bye bye.